It's April 3rd, it's time for some Linux news. Hey everybody, I'm now streaming on Twitch on my channel Penguin Revo, link in the description below. Right now I am streaming Dota Underlords. It is a free to play auto battle strategy game based off the Dota franchise. So come and check me out. If you want to come and hang out with me, I typically stream around 2 o'clock central time. Hey everyone, what's happening? And today we're going over some Linux news. And all these articles are actually going to be from the 9 to 5 Linux site. And uh, so we're going to get started with Linux kernel 5.c gets its first point release. And it's ready for mass adoption. Which means it's listed as stable in the kernel archives. It was released on March 29th. Linux kernel 5.6 comes with built-in WireGuard support, USB 4 support, AMD Pollock support, cache support for NFS clients, as well as async discarded support for the ButterFS system. Also, uh -oh, it has features like a new CPU idle cooling thermal driver, Etc. Etc. I'm not going to go through this whole article, but it's stable. Now, the uh, now there is actually a Linux distribution that offers this kernel already in its repositories, and that is Linux Lite. Um, Linux Lite typically puts new stable kernels in their repositories. Um, it says once again, Linux Lite users are among the first to install the latest Linux kernel series. In this case, Linux kernel 5.6, which was announced March 29th by Linus Torvalis. And uh, of course you have the install command here. However, they do have a little warning here about proprietary drivers and upgrading your terminal, etc. There's a little disclaimer in this article. Also, if you really want this kernel, you can go and download the kernel itself and compile it yourself from kernel.org. Uh, not recommended, but if you really want this new kernel, you can do so here. Matter of fact, this is 5.6.2. The next article we're going to go over is Linux Minute 20, codenamed Yolana. However you pronounce that, will be based on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Well, that's no surprise there. The Linux Mint project unveiled today the code name of the upcoming Linux Mint 20 operating system release, along with the details on supported edition and included some features. And this article was dated March 31st. Um, the Linux Mint project continues the tradition of naming new Linux Mint releases alphabetically, and they revealed today that in the monthly newsletter that will be dubbed Yelena. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or, Ali, or Aliana. Okay, <laughs> I'm not trying to pronounce that, but... Um, Besides revealing the code name, the team also confirmed the fact that Linux Mint 20 will ship with the same three flavors that were used until now, namely Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE, as well as the fact that it will be a 64-bit only release. Well, that's no surprise. Seems how 20.04 is 64-bit only. Uh, it's going to include Cinnamon 4.6, for the cinnamon release and it's going to come with a, two new color schemes for the mint for the minty wide thing or the mint the mint y theme or minty theme namely aqua and pink okay so of course of course it's that's going to be based off of the LTS 5.4 kernel all right, now the next one is PinePhone um, Ubuntu Touch Edition, now available for pre-order. And this was actually dated April 2nd. 
So basically, you can now order the new Pine phone. Um, and the pre-order is $149.99. A lot cheaper than the Librem 5. And gosh, that's a nightmare that we'll go into in another time, if it's still a nightmare. Um, of course, this is running Ubuntu Touch, which is Ubuntu base for touch screens, etc. And then, GNOME 3.38 desktop environment stated for release on September 16th. So, they think that that's going to be released on the, on the 16th of September. Well, that's a nice thing, see how they just came out with 3.36. Um, let's see what, what's in here. Um, Okay, they don't, they're not telling you what the feature list is going to be, but it's got a release schedule here. Um, they're hoping that 3.37 will come on May 30th. And then the release candidate will be on the, will be early September on the 5th. Okay, and then the final release is scheduled for the 16th. Ambitious. So, GNOME is still continuing to develop their, uh, their environment. So that's what's going on in the Linux Mint world today. Um, if you have any uh, ideas for articles I should cover, let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button. And I'll see you next time. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.